like games? I like games, so I've got one here for us. We're going to each choose our favorite number, and we're going to go through these three steps. Here's the first step. Add three to your favorite number. That's pretty easy. All right, on to the second step. Then we add double the number that is seven more than our favorite number. So let's see, we take, add seven onto our favorite number, double that, get a new number, and then we add what we get there to what we had at the end of step one. All right, I'll do that too, I'm gonna carry, okay, got it, all right, done. So I got step two is done, I'm on to step three. I'm gonna subtract three times the number that is two less than my favorite number. What does that mean? So let's see, two less than my favorite number, so I'll subtract two from my favorite number, and then I'll take three times that, so I'll triple that and I get a new number. Okay, got it. And now I'm going to subtract that new number from what I had at the end of step two. So I'm going to take this at the end of step two. And I'm going to subtract three times two less than my favorite number. Borrow. All right, got it. Got it. All right, so I have my final result here. My final result is 23. And if you didn't get 23, then you must have chosen the wrong favorite number. So here's what I want you to do. If you didn't get 23, I want you to choose a different favorite number and then go through these three steps again. I'll pause, you should pause the video here and I'll pause too and wait for you to keep doing this over and over again until you finally pick the right favorite number and you get 23. All right, I'm going to wait for you. All right, good, good, good. So you got 23 now and I got 23. That means you finally chose the right favorite number. What's your favorite number? What? That's not my favorite number. I don't even like that number. How, you got 23 and I got 23, and we both went through these same three steps, but we started with different favorite numbers. How could that be? You must have made a mistake. Or, uh, maybe I made a mistake. Uh, maybe we should work through these three steps with your number and with my number, and then we'll see who made a mistake. Now, of course, I don't want to work through all this with my number and then again with your number. So let's do them both at once. I got a great trick to do both your favorite number and my favorite number at the same time. Instead of putting in a number for our favorite number, I'm gonna pick a letter, X. I like X, X. I'm gonna use X as our favorite number. And I'm gonna do all these steps just with X. Because X can be anything. It can be your favorite number, or it can be my favorite number. We call that a variable. So we'll start off with step one. X is our favorite number. We're gonna add three to X because x is our favorite number. Next step, double the number that is seven more than our favorite number. Well, seven more than our favorite number is x plus seven. And then we have to double that. And very important, I have to put these parentheses here because I'm gonna add the seven first, and then I'm gonna double the result. And then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna add it to the number that was three more than our favorite number. All right, and that's what I'll have at the end of step two. And again, this will work for your favorite number or for my favorite number. You can check it. Stick your favorite number in there for X. You should get out what you had at the end of step two. All right, so on to step three. Three times the number that is two less than your favorite number. All right, so we'll start with two less than our favorite number. That's X minus two. And then we want three times that. And again, we have to remember the parentheses. Parentheses are very important because we're tripling what we get after we subtract two from our favorite number. And then we're gonna subtract that from what we had at the end of step two. And that's our number. Huh, not 23. So it looks like 23. I'm gonna put in my number for X and see if I get 23. You put in your number for X, see if you get 23 too. Yeah, mine comes out to 23, how about yours? Oh, you say yours does too? I don't believe you, but uh, let's simplify this a little bit. Well, for, for starters, we can go ahead and multiply some of these out. We can use the distributive property. So we can't do much with the x plus 3. We'll just leave that here. But we can use the distributive property right here. And we get 2 times x. And that'll be plus 2 times 7. So all we're doing here is multiplying the 2 by each of the pieces inside the parentheses. We're going to do the same thing over here. We'll have the minus 3 times x. And then the minus 3 times the minus 2. Again, very important to remember our signs. We have the minus 3 out here, so we have the minus 3 outside on both of them, times the x, times the minus 2. Very important to remember our signs. All right, so we can multiply these out, and we'll have x plus 3 
plus 2 times x. 2 times 7 is 14, minus 3 times x, minus 3 times minus 2. Minus times a minus is a positive, plus 6. Well, that's a little bit simpler than this was. Now let's, we can reorganize this. We can put all the constant terms together, the 3, the 14, and the 6. And we can put all these things with x's together as well. We can move all this around. We have x plus 2x minus 3x. Puts all our x terms together. And again, we keep our signs. This is minus 3x, so we have minus 3x down here, plus 2x, plus 2x. And then we have plus 3, plus 14, plus 6. So now how can we combine these? Distributive property again, we can factor out the x. We have x times 1 plus 2 minus 3. All I'm doing here is factoring out the x. x times 1 is x. x times plus 2 is plus 2x. And x times our minus 3 here gives us minus 3x. And then I combine these, 3 plus 14 is 17, 17 plus 6. Aha, there's 23. But what about 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 times x, the x goes away. And we could have seen that up here too. It kind of makes sense, right? x plus 2x, that gives us 3x's minus 3x. That goes down to nothing. The x just cancels out. All the x's go away and we're just left with 23. So doesn't matter what our favorite number is, we always get 23 in the end.